Hi guys, so this is video 11 of Duke and Prince and we're going to be having a play with some clippers. So hopefully we can get Duke out of bed and uh, yeah, show you a little bit how about how we build confidence with young horses and clippers and how I deal with mites. It's just my idea guys and how I do it, but hopefully it'll be helpful. Thanks a lot. So guys, I thought we'd start with little Princey here because this is the first time he's had the clippers on him. Now, I tend to start all mine off um, with a little handheld okay. pair and I might just rub them over the body without the noise. Then I might switch them on, rub them over their body, but my hand being on their skin so they get used to the noise, but not the vibration as well. Once they're confident with that, then I will then take my fingers out so they can feel the oh, vibration boy. too but you can see here he's got his ears sideways but he's quite happy so we'll come back to him moving on to duke um we know that duke's confident with the noise we've had the clippers over him um so i'm just going to start clipping around that pastern area um but you can see there he's politely pulled away so i'm just going to disengage him now i've done a lot of work with this pony with disengaging and it has really really helped it's so beneficial um and he understands that if he's been asked to do something and he moves, he's going to get disengaged, put back into park, and we're going to try again. So it's all calm. It's all relaxed. He's not tied up. Um, I don't want him to feel pressured. But again, I'm just going to have another little go, see what we've got. I'm just going to move the fur away. And I'd hardly even turn, you know, hardly even started that in his move. So I'm going to disengage him again. And, you know, all horses are different, so they all behave in different manners. We don't know what's happened with this pony in the past. I very much doubt before he's been clipped. Um, he's obviously unbacked, but he could have had an injury to that foot. Somebody could have um, done something we don't know. So I'm just going to take it right back to basics and disengage him, encourage him that actually, you know what, standing still is definitely easier and then go again. So I've changed the subject to move into the back feet, feet and as you can see, he's yeah, very happy. Very In fact, all three feet, okay, other than that inside front, he was lot. not a problem at all. So he's not tied up. Um, I don't want <laughs> to tie him up and encourage him to pull back. So I've just left him, left him loose. He does understand Park. I'm going to come back to that front leg. Now he's had the others done, but now nah, he didn't like it. So we've gone back to disengaging again. Um, and for me... Um, I I, sometimes you just need to so, drop things back down into bite-sized chunks. So I'm now just going to have a feel of the feather, but not actually clip. And see if by breaking it down, it's he's more confident, but he wasn't. So I'm going to disengage him again. And then I'm just going to lower him and see if I can just get him to relax and breathe again. So with this pony, he almost goes into shutdown. Um, and I think over whatever's happened to him in the past, over the years, he's learned to block things out. And you can see here that he's tightened his neck, his eyes a little bit wide, he's holding tension. So I'm just going to, back in the room, lower his head, and I'm just going to wait for him to really relax and then soften that neck. Now, what I'm going to work towards is that, lifting the foot, yeah, feeling thing. around the feather, then switching the clippers on without actually clipping and build on it so that every time he gets a bit rigid, I'll lower him down, I'll relax him, and then I'll go back to moving to the next step. And guys, it took a little bit of time, You've but we did manage to clip two. that leg. Um, and we have done it again since, and he's been okay. So I have to be thoughtful about it. Um, but as long as I make sure that he just breathes and relaxes, we do get through it. So you can see here, turn them on. I've rubbed around, Perfect. but I haven't clipped, and I've left I've it on that. It, so I've... you always want to make sure you leave it on a good note. So I've tied it back up. I've cleaned the clippers up and put them away. And now I'm just going to untie him, relax him back down, spend a little bit of quality time for a second, a little bit of TLC so that he knows that actually he's been a good boy, all is fine, and come back to it. Now, he's had his chin hair clipped. Um, I always clip underneath there so that there's um, less kind of um, catching for coulters and things like that. I don't want to snag his hair while he's learning. 
and he's also had his bridal path done and he was absolutely fine. So um, we'll just keep working on it. And if I just take my time and keep building on building blocks and confidence, hopefully when we get to the winter and we get the big clippers out, he will feel quite happy. But here is a really nice note to finish on, just getting him to really relax down and hopefully have that little bit of trust and confidence back. So moving back to little Prince, and you can see here that I've opened my fingers up with the clippers so he can now hear them and feel the vibration. And you can see his little ears and his nostrils. You know, okay. he's unsure, but he's quite settled. So I'm going to just move on to clipping the legs. Um, I'm going to speed the video up, guys. So he hasn't got the twitches. It's just that I've moved the video, um, forwarded it quite quickly so you guys don't have to watch for 10 minutes. But what I'm doing is I'm clipping out from the heel to the ergot. And I'll show you some pictures in a minute. Um, and I'm just getting some air into those pastons. Now, I clip nice and close and I'll clip all directions. So I make sure I get the fur right out, right in kind of the bogs of the hills and a bit further up. Um, and I find that this just allows the air to get in. Everything starts to breathe a little bit more. And, you know, it's in the summer when it's wet and warm, the moisture, um, you know, they get a bit fungally. So once I've clipped them out, I'll give them a really good wash, sometimes with a bit of malised, make sure there's nothing fungal in there. Then I let them dry. I might tie them up, plait them up, and let some air get in there if they're really bad. And then I'll smother them in pseudocreme. So I'll put pseudocreme on probably twice a day for a few days and see how they go. I tend to find after four or five days, they stop stamping. And both these ponies were having a good stamp and chew. You know, they were standing in the stables like Thumper. So here you can see I've clipped right out to the pastern. Now, guys, if you're showing, you're not going to want to do this. I appreciate that. Um, you can probably just take a little bit out, but you'll see in later pictures that you can't tell. Now, these guys I've taken quite high because I really want to get to the bottom of this. Um, and obviously being new as well, I want to make sure there's nothing else in there. But then I'll go through the rest of the feather and just with a fine tooth comb and just make sure that there's no scabs or itchies in there. But you can see here, um, you know, he's absolutely brilliant at this. I'm really chuffed, um, but I'm getting right up to the ergot. And I, I may do this every two or three weeks. If we have rain and it gets warm, you tend to find that the moisture in there makes it worse. So clipping them and keeping them short really helps. And again, it's just keeping an eye on them. You know, Billy used to be terrible. He used to get real open sores. And the silicone really, really helped that. As long as I put it on enough, um, it made a really big difference. And, you know, he's been lucky we haven't had a problem since. So we've got a picture of Prince afterwards. You can see, you can barely tell. Billy wears, you can't see. As Billy's got older, he started to lose his feather, bless him. Um, Cedric has a huge amount of hair, so you can't see here where we've clipped. But also, it stopped him treading on his front feathers. So it made a really big difference, really helped. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope you find this useful. Um, I'm pretty lucky that I've worked alongside vets for years and I've had a lot of these hairy types. So my knowledge, I would like to think is reasonable. But if you're worried, give your vet a ring. Um, treatment, different treatments work for different horses at different times. So just make sure you're on the right track. And one really useful bit of information is what I do every evening before I go to bed, I'll have a cup of tea and I'll write a diary so that I've got dates and what I've done. It's so easy to lose track and think, oh, it was only a few days ago. No, actually, it was three weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, really useful. So please like and share. It would be really nice if you subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos, click on the bell. We'll have Duke working on the long lines next. That's been a challenge. There'll be lots of fun tips and tools and ideas to uh, work on there. And yeah, thanks very much and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.